All right, guys, so we're here our final day at uh, Select Arc. We've been testing out some of their wires, uh, going through different processes and procedures and stuff. So today we're going to go ahead and show you some metal core. So Ben, go ahead and tell us about metal core, exactly what is it? So uh, metal core wires um, is what it implies. Basically, you have greater than 90% metallic powders in the core, uh, whereas the flux core, you have slag ingredients into it. You generally get faster travel speeds with it. Um, whereas, and, and it's obviously a more efficient wire because there is no slag on top of the uh, on top of the bead when you're done with it. So it's a faster wire. That's why a lot of the, the automotive people use that type of wire. So now that we're going to do some metal core today, go ahead and tell us some of the difference between metal core and like standard, you know, solid wire that everybody's familiar with. Yeah. So uh, since we've been doing cut netches all week, we'll start there. The uh, solid wire compared to the metal core solid, you'll see more of a, a deeper groove penetration. Um, whereas the metal core, you'll see when you look at the penetration profile compared to solid, you'll see we have a wider width of penetration, may not have that finger uh, down in the root, but your overall penetration should be uh, more substantial just because you have a, a more washed out bead. Okay. And that's, that's what the, the benefits of the metal core wire would really be. So I would imagine with metal core, you're going to get like higher deposition rates, faster travel speeds. Yes. Uh, compared to the solid wire, you can usually push those limits because the way the current um, carries through the sheath of the wire. Um, usually with solid wire you have thickness limitations because of that penetration profile I was talking about. Mm -hmm. um, the metal core spreads out. You can usually run a lot faster, put the, put the pedal to the metal, and just go with it. So. All right, so I guess we're going to kind of keep with the same sequence. We'll do a push versus pull on this one as well. Uh, we'll do a cut natch afterwards. I think you said you were going to start off about 410 inches a minute on the wire feed speed and roughly 30 volts, about 24 travel or 24 inches a minute on travel. Yeah, so you know, compared to what we did yesterday with the uh, with the plus four wire, I think we're going to keep the the uh, bolts and the uh, wire feed speed similar. So we're just going to travel faster. It might give it a little bit more wire to get that fillet size in there. Okay. Um, we go from there. All right, let's give it a shot. All right, so it looked like it uh, it went in pretty good. We got even uh, even fusion on both legs of the fillet. I would imagine you know push is going to be better because we don't have a flux to deal with, so we're just dealing with that shielding gas. Uh, seemed like it did pretty good overall. I noticed you know the travel speed was higher than the other ones. Uh, same thing about a 5/16 fillet weld. So we'll go ahead and see if uh, see how the push stacks up to it. All right, looks on. Uh, looks like it turned out pretty decent. We got good wetting of the toes in. I know I did notice the faster travel speeds. Uh, the bead size looks just a little bit smaller, maybe around a quarter of an inch. But I mean, that's something we could we could play with, you know, uh, either increasing the wire feed speed, maybe you know, bump a half a volt up, or or dropping that travel speed down. But I think overall it did pretty good. So we'll go ahead and uh, we'll run the pull technique and see if that gives us any different as far as penetration. Yes, sir. All right, so this one uh, didn't turn out too bad. I noticed it's slightly more convex than the uh, the push technique, and I've also noticed the the bead size is a little bit smaller. But I mean, a, a lot of that, you know, it's just in technique. So I mean, just on a visual perspective, it kind of shows you the difference versus a push versus a pull on a metal core or a metal core application. Um, so I'll be really interested to see the type of penetration with profile we get when we cut this open. All right, so we got everything cut and we got it polished and etched. Uh, ben, go ahead and tell us uh, what we have going on here with our metal core sample. Yeah, this is our metal core sample. It's the 70C6LS. Uh, this is the drag sample. And if you take it over to the screen here, um, you can tell it's the drag by that ropey looking bead. Uh, you're really not taking advantage of the metal core wire in this situation. You have a, you have a real focused bead. And um, I think if you, when you compare it to what the push will probably look like, it, it's just a narrow bead. You're not really getting the true benefits of what the, the metal core wire can do. You're yeah. punching in, sure, but you're, you're getting good penetration. But the idea of the metal core is to get that wide width of penetration and to really go fast. So this right here is not ideal. Right, and I noticed that when we welded it up, the, uh, the weld size was a little bit smaller, even though we didn't change any of the parameters other than the direction. Yep, and I think uh, that's what you're seeing here. So. Right. Let's go ahead and check out the push angle. So this looks like 
a little bit more of an ideal sample. You know, it's, it's got a good wetting into the toes. You don't have that high crown on there. We got the 5 16 we were looking for. What else can you tell us about this sample? Uh, you pretty much covered it. The, the bead is much flatter. Uh, wash in, as you said. You do have good penetration still. Um, this, I think you probably could have gone faster um, and really get the benefits of the metal core. That's what, that's what we're here for, the wider width of penetration. Uh, so yeah, this looks like the optimum push angle that you should be using. So obviously much more ideal than, than trying to drag this stuff as a lot of people do. Yes. All right, guys, well, that concludes this episode. Metal Core was a pretty neat process. We look forward to doing more videos like this where we're kind of debunking the myths and misconceptions revolved around welding. Um, ben, thanks for having us out, man. No appreciate problem, man. it. Thanks for having us out at the facility and, and kind of showing us around, giving us a tour, letting us play with some of the, the cool toys you got here in the lab. Uh, make sure you guys follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Hit the notification button down below. That way you get notified when we have new episodes. Uh, we got new episodes coming for you every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 5.30 Eastern Standard Time. And until next time, make every well better than your last.